Hello everyone, welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to enable self service password reset in Azure Active Directory. Self service password reset gives users the ability to change or reset the password with no administrator or help desk involvement. If Azure Active Directory logs a user's account, or they forgot the password, they can follow prompts to unblock themselves and get back to the work. This ability reduces help desk calls and loss of productivity when a user can't sign in to their device or an application. Sign in to the Azure Active Directory portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com On Azure Active Directory Admin Center, I'm going to click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps in this video. And that you can verify here. You can also see the license information about our Azure Active Directory tenant which is Azure Active Directory Premium P2. We are using the trial license of Azure Active Directory Premium P2. In this tutorial, we will set up self-service password reset for a set of users in a test group named Content Team. So first, let me show you the group which we are going to use in this video. For that, under Manage, click on Groups. Here we can see we have a one group named Content Team. I'm going to click on it. Click on Members. And we can see we have two members inside this group, Kiran Patel and Parita Bolda. In this video, we will use the user account of Parita Bolda. Let me again click on Azure Active Directory. On the overview page, we need to click on Password Reset. From the Properties page, under the option Self Service Password Reset Enabled, you will find three options None, Selected, and All. If you have selected None, that means Self Service Password Reset is currently disabled in your Azure Active Directory tenant. If you select All, that means Self Service Password Reset will be enabled for all the users in our Azure Active Directory tenant. Choose Selected to restrict password reset to a limited group of users. In this video, I'll select the option Selected. If you have chosen this option, you must select the user groups who get permissions to self-reset their password. Click on No Group Selected link and select your Azure Active Directory group. In our case, we will use the group named Content Team. Click on Content Team and click on Select. Under Select Group, ensure you have added the Content Team group. To enable SAP Service Password Reset for the users from the selected group, select Save. We get the confirmation message that changes to Password Reset policy were saved successfully. Next. When users need to unlock their password or reset their password, they are prompted for another confirmation method. This extra authentication factor makes sure that Azure Active Directory finished only approved self-service password reset events. You can choose which authentication methods to allow based on the registration information the user provides. From the menu on the left side of the authentication methods, you can set the numbers of methods for that. So let's click on Authentication Methods under Manage. On Authentication Methods page, set the number of methods required to reset to 1 and which is selected by default. To improve security, you can increase the number of authentication methods required for self-service password reset. Then you can choose the methods available to users that your organization wants to allow. We will select the mobile phone SMS only option. 
I'm going to clear the checkbox in front of email. To apply the authentication methods, select save. Now let me check the confirmation. We get the confirmation message that changes to password reset policy were saved successfully. Uh, let me close it. Before users can unlock their account or reset a password, they must register their contact information. Azure Active Directory uses this contact information for the different authentication methods set up in the last step. An administrator can manually provide this contact information or users can go to a registration portal to provide the information themselves. In this tutorial, we will set up Azure Active Directory to prompt the users for registration for the next time they sign in. For that, you need to click on Registration under Manage menu. On Registration page, select Yes for require users to register when signing in. In our case, you can see yes is already selected. Next, you can specify number of days before users are asked to reconfirm their authentication information, which is set to 180 days by default. You can set this value as per your requirement, but it is important to keep the contact information up to date. If outdated contact information exists, when a self-service password reset event starts, the user may not be able to unlock their account or reset their password. If you have changed registration settings, then you need to click on Save to save the changes. To keep users informed about account activity, you can set up Azure Active Directory to send email notifications when a self-service password reset event happens. For that, you need to click on Notifications under Manage. These notifications can cover both regular user accounts and admin accounts. Set Notify Users on Password Resets option to Yes, which is selected by default. And also set Notify All Admins when other admins reset their password to Yes as well. So I'm going to toggle this value to Yes. Click on save and wait for the confirmation message. We can see we got the confirmation message that changes to password reset policy were saved successfully. With self-service password reset enabled and set up, let's taste the self-service password reset process with a user that is part of the group which we have selected earlier. In this example, we will use the Parita Boda's account. She is part of the content team group. To see the manual registration process, open a new browser window in in private mode. So let's click on these three dots and click on new in private window. So complete URL is going to be https colon double slash aka dot ms slash sspr setup. After providing the URL, I'm going to press Enter key. Sign in using Parita Boda's account. Let's specify the username of Parita Boda. After providing the user's username, click on Next. Enter the user password and click on Sign in. This will take us to the registration portal where user need to register authentication methods contact information. As you can see, we are on security info page. Let's click on this plus icon to add the method. Click on drop down arrow and select authentication method. Right now, we are going to use phone. Click on add. You need to provide your phone number with country code. Let's click on this drop down arrow and we need to select India. So in our case, the country code is going to be plus 91. And then we need to enter the user's phone number. After providing the phone number, click on next to receive a message with a verification code on it. Here we need to enter the code which we have received on the given email address. 
in my case it is 731108 click next to verify the code perfect sms verification has been completed successfully and the provided number is registered successfully click on done to close it on security info page we can see we have successfully defined contact information for parita boda's user account now i'm going to sign out from this window okay now i'm going to close this browser window so we have successfully registered authentication methods contact information for parita boda's user account now we will test a self service password reset for our user parita boda let's open a new browser window in in private mode let's click on this three dots again and click on new in private window type the url https colon double slash aka dot ms slash sspr after entering the url press enter key we will reach on microsoft online password reset page here you need to enter user's account id the characters from the captcha and then select next button in our case here we need to specify the user id of our user parita boda so here i have specified user's username which is parita b at msftwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com in our case then we need to specify the characters from the captcha l3 lw and now after providing user's username and characters from the captcha i'm going to click on next now we need to follow the verification steps to reset our user's password and since we have selected sms on provided phone number we have only one option here text my mobile phone so here user need to provide his or her mobile number which is registered by that user so here i am going to provide the mobile number which we have registered earlier after providing the mobile number click on text you will receive a text message containing a verification code on the provided mobile number we need to enter the code here in my case it is 950453 after entering the verification code here click on next and now we can see it is asking us to provide a new password for user parita boda let's enter a new password okay and let's click on finish to set up a new password for user parita boda we can see get back into your account your password has been reset successfully So when finish you will receive an email notification that your password was reset. We have successfully reset the Parita Boda's user account password using self service password reset. Now Parita can sign in using this new password to access her account. Let's access Azure Active Directory admin center using Parita Boda's credential. Let's enter the username, which is Parita B at msft webcaster. dot on Microsoft. dot com, and hit next. Let's enter a new password, which we have just set up right now. Let's click on sign in, and as you can see, Parita can sign into Azure Active Directory Admin Center. using the new password which we have set up using self service password reset so that concludes the video on how to enable self service password reset in azure active directory thank you all for watching this video have a nice day